Hello, uh, so I'm going to show you how to add uh, links and custom fonts onto your planner. Uh, so to add a custom font, you want to close Odo. And then go to your file manager. I have all my fonts stored on my SD card in my planner folder. I keep everything in folders in here to make sure it's organized. And um, so you're going to select the font that you want, you're going to copy it, go home, and then on your device storage, go to the downloads folder. And in the downloads folder, you should have a folder that is labeled Zodo. If you do not have one of these folders, uh, uninstall the app and then reinstall it and the folder should appear. Uh, so click on the folder and then I have a folder within it that's labeled fonts and then paste. And you want to open Zodo. On the upper right hand corner, you'll see these three three lines right here. Sorry, upper left hand corner. These three lines. Click on it and then scroll to settings. And then go all the way down to the bottom and you're going to go to text annotation fonts. And then on here, you can add all your uh, custom fonts that you've added on there. These are the fonts that come with Zodo. I don't really like them. Um, I use all custom fonts on here that I've either purchased or downloaded for free. Uh, to use your custom fonts, just press and hold on the screen and you'll get this mini toolbar. This uh, first icon here is your text tool. You can write whatever. I always use the text tool because my handwriting is terrible. And alrighty. So in order to change the color, font, and size, just click on it and then go to this color palette thingy right here and I'm going to change this to black and change the font and make it bigger. And there we go. That's how you add custom fonts and use the text tool. You can also use the freehand tool which is uh, this one right here. It allows you to use your style stylus. But like I said, my handwriting is terrible, so I never use it. Alrighty, let's add links. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate one of these weekly templates that the planner comes with. Um, so duplicate something. Let me show you how to do that. Just uh, click on this, press on the screen, and then on the bottom left-hand corner, you'll have this uh, thumbnail button here. Press and hold on the slide that you want to duplicate and then on the upper right hand corner click the three dots and duplicate. Uh, when you duplicate a page you always want to use the second page not the first. So the one that's currently selected page 31 you don't want to move that one you want to move page 32 which is your duplicate. If you move the original page that you duplicated it will break the link. So when you click on the link it, it won't work anymore and then just uh, press and hold and then you can drag it to wherever it is you want it to go. So I'm going to put it right here in January. Um, I like to link all my weekly pages to my monthly view. Uh, so in order to add a link you're just going to press and hold on the screen until you get the mini toolbar. Right here click the overflow button on the right side and then click link and then just draw a box over where you want it to be. And I didn't pay attention to the page number that I wanted to link to, so I'm just going to put page 12 for now. Um, so it's actually page 14 that I want to link it to, so in order to change that, just press and hold. Click this little uh, paper clip looking thingy, and then just change it. So then when you click this, it'll take you to that weekly page that you linked. Uh, I... You can either keep this border around the edges if you'd like. You can make it smaller, thicker, whatever floats your boat. I like to get rid of it altogether. Um, so you can press the color palette and then go to the color. Right here on the regular color palette, usually on the bottom left hand corner, it'll have the no color tool, but it doesn't show up on here for some odd reason, so it should be in your most recents. If it's not in your most recents, uh, press and hold the screen and then just draw like a box. Go to the color palette and then uh, on the main color palette for the box, it actually has the no color tool. Then you delete it and it should be in your most recents now. And I can't find where I put the link. There it is. 
And actually, I think you could click this down here too, where it says presets. That could probably work. Let me see. Yeah, presets. There you go. You can do that. That will take you to that link. And then if you add anything on top of the link, like a, like a sticker or something. So let me add a sticker real quick. Um, so if I add this sticker right here and it covers up the entire box, whenever I click on here, it's going to select the sticker. If you're happy with the sticker placement and you're not going to change it, you can flatten it. Um, so how you do that is you just select the sticker and then right here on the right hand side click the overflow tool and then flatten. So what flattening a sticker or a text box does is that it makes it a permanent part of your planner. So now when I click on the sticker, uh, it no longer lets me select the sticker because it's a permanent part of my planner. So it, my link now works. Uh, let me undo that real quick. I don't like flattening things because I change my mind so often, so I'm constantly changing things. So I'll just make it smaller or not put something over where my link is. That way when I click on it, it doesn't select the actual sticker. And okay, I think that's all I wanted to show you. Uh, thank you for watching.